every time I entered my house it was something different I was dying Rebecca Cherop alipokuwa na umri wa miaka minne wazazi wake waliaga dunia kilichokuwa kimetokea aidha kilidhihirika wazi kwake alipokuwa na umri wa miaka tisa wakati huo mwaka wa 2003 when your parent dies or passes away it's very hard for people to tell the child exactly what what is going to happen so i grew up with an expectation of they're going to come back until when i grew up by myself and discovered it by myself and so i had to deal with grief just dealing with it and coming to terms with what had happened led me into mental illness hata hivyo hali ya rebecca iligunduliwa mwaka wa 2017 haswa baada ya maisha yake shuleni kuwa magumu i was so withdrawn away from friends you're in school but you don't associate with people Uh, I had eating disorders, I had sleeping disorders until when I was uh, when after campus when I was 21. Yes, that's when it really got bad because I became suicidal. Alijaribu kujitoa uhai mara mbili. Kutofanikiwa kwake kulimpa dhana ya kusaka huduma za matibabu. I had to go through the whole grieving grieving process and then accept what had happened and you know take the medicine. Baada ya takriban miaka miwili alipata nafuu I am now aware and more educated ila janga la corona lilipotangazwa ulimwenguni lilitupilia mbali mafanikio yote ya Rebecca katika kupigania afya ya akili yake Being in a state of you you alone you in your own space lost your job you've you can't see your family members that alone was a big it made me go back into the whole depression You are now facing economic crisis jobs are uh, uh, not as available so people are suffering economically they're all stressors wataalamu wanasema takriban mtu mmoja kati ya watu wanne wanaosaka huduma za matibabu hospitalini humu nchini anaugua maradhi ya akili their trajectory of life changes so if they are at school or at university they start not doing so well katika mazungumzo yetu na daktari Zul Merali ambaye ni mwanasayansi wa neva katika chuo kikuu cha Aga Khan inabainika kuwa mara nyingi maradhi ya akili huanza katika miaka ya ujana when mental health strikes you in the younger days it has it may be very insidious you may not recognize it uh, you may not want to recognize it people tend to suffer in silence um, If you look at suicides in the young people it's the it's becoming the leading, leading cause of death kando na mamilioni ya wakenya kupoteza ajira katika kipindi cha corona uwekezaji mbovu wa serikali katika afya ya akili ya wananchi umetajwa na wataalamu kama sababu ya ongezeko la idadi ya wanaogua maradhi ya akili we hardly have adequate number of psychiatrists and psychologists to be able to treat people who are suffering from mental ill health Daktari Zul ameunga mkono mswada ulioko bungeni wa kutoharamisha jaribio la kujitoa uhai kwa yeyote atakayebainika kuugua maradhi ya akili. We are one of the very few countries in the world who would consider suicidal acts as, as, as being uh, illegal. Um, we had need to change that thinking. And that goes towards helping destigmatize mental illness. It goes towards giving help to those that are in need. Kuwepo kwa jitihada za serikali katika kubuni sera maalum na wananchi katika kuepuka unyanyapaa kwa wanaogua maradhi ya akili huenda kukachangia pakubwa katika kupunguza idadi ya wagonjwa nchini. Ben Kerera K24 makala ya siha yangu Nairobi.